look at you. Bitch, my motherfucking makeup look. Something that you bitches don't know about. Period. Y'all see the eyelashes. Y'all see the eyes. Don't play with me. Period. Because I'm a motherfucking bad bitch. You grown folks, Benny's. What you laughing for? I like your wallet. You bitches got me fucked up. You look like a man. Take that shit off. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four corners of the globe. And shalom to you few sisters out there. This is Brother Ariyah coming at you with a super quick cut. <clears throat> As you've seen in the video. <laughs> um, yeah, man. <it's laughs> oh, man. You know, you see the, the, the pride, man. The pride in the end dubs, man. You know, and, and Apostle Tahar says it. Apostle Tahar and Gabar say it every week, man. That's why the end dub is low on the totem pole, man. You know, this is why, you know, most men don't want to deal with them. As you've seen, that woman, she had a super, she had a man spirit on her, man. She looked like a dude, too. She had the, the, the fresh Caesar cut, you know, with the makeup on, talking about she's a bad bitch. Come on, man. She like 400 pounds, man. You know what I'm saying? But she sit down, you know, her breast is on her kneecaps, you know, just looking crazy, you know. But these women really are... Uh, super proud, man, and arrogant, man, okay? And there's no need for that woman in particular to be arrogant at all, especially not about her looks, okay? Even though, to me, looks don't matter, man. It's all about the spirit, man. And the spirit that she brought forth was disgusting, man. And she's doing this in front of her kids, man. Women are supposed to be the teacher of the children, right? <laughs> and then you know it was classic for the kid to even though it was disrespectful to the kid to do so but the kid you know told her yo you look like a man now that was going overboard by the kid putting the hands on her mother regardless that's still your mother man you know and the most high gonna deal with that kid for doing that as well okay <clears throat> but like I said this is a super quick cut and I just want to read a couple of uh, precepts in Isaiah 3. Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion and the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, will discover their secret parts, man. Okay. And, uh, yeah, man, the scab, man, the scab, the crown of the head, man. You seen she was bald, not bald headed, but I mean, she had no hair. You know, she had the J, she had the Jay-Z, uh, Caesar. Okay. And, uh, the Bismarcky face, you know, <laughs> oh man. And she's just haughty, man. She's just real prideful and proud and. You know, moving that neck, you know, just thinking that she was the shit, man. And she she really wasn't, man. She was really, at the end of the day, she was fooling herself, man. You know, there's nothing attractive about her, man. You know, the way she conducts herself, her attitude, her spirit, it's all just unattractive, man. It's unattractive. Uh, I'm going to go to 24. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Okay, now, you know, of course, I don't know this woman personally, man, but it looked, to me, it looked like, you know, her stuff smelled like old cabbage water. Um, that's, I'm just saying. And instead of a girdle, a rent, okay? And she's big, man. She's, it's a big woman, man. Ain't nothing wrong with big women, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Damn. And instead of well said hair baldness, man, you know, and all of that in that video right there, you see the curses, man. 
upon that woman and upon, a, you know, a lot of women like her, man. And instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty, man. Okay. And she, that woman was not beautiful at all, man. She said she was a bad bitch, but she wasn't beautiful at all, man. Like I said, her looks wasn't beautiful. Her spirit definitely isn't beautiful, man. You know, her ways and actions are not beautiful either. It's nothing beautiful about her, man. She's super unattractive. But she is super proud, man, and, and <laughs> conceited for no reason, man. And, uh, yeah, man. I don't know, man. A lot of women like that is, I'm telling you, man, they're going to be going through it out here when all hell break loose, man. Especially all them women with the with the manly spirit, you know, and, and you could tell she's the type of woman that thinks she could beat men's ass and all that. Like I was going into, uh, you know, with that lesson I had did about uh, feminism debunked, man, you know. She she definitely looked like one of the women that's not going to be submissive to a man. And she thinks that, you know, she can do what she wants, man, regardless of what. She think with her is the end all be all, man. And it's not, you know, and you can see because not even her kids respect her, man. She's like damn near 40 up here trying to do things that teenagers is doing, man. Sitting here doing a makeup tutorial. With a bald ass head, man. <clears throat> Our people are low, man. Real low. Real low mind state, man. In a low place. You know? <sighs> but Lord, Lord willing, man, this was edifying. I know it was a short lesson. I just wanted to bring out a couple of precepts. I got the video from the brother Kyle. A shallow arm to you, brother. And uh, I just wanted to add it, add some precepts to it. And uh, Lord willing, this is edifying, man. This is uh, Ariya Shalom.